What's up guys, it's Boo from Being Bigger. And I'm Natalie. Thanks for following us through the first five weeks of our workout series. We appreciate it. For week number six, we're going to be doing a cardiovascular fight workout. And what that means is we're going to be doing a cardiovascular workout focusing primarily on fighting type moves. Now this isn't a traditional cardio workout, but it definitely is effective. So just a quick reminder, as always, Natalie's going to be on the evolution and I'm going to be demoing right here. Are you ready? Let's go. One minute of air squats. You've seen these before. And go. Okay. As always, use your hands as a counterbalance. At this point, you should be pretty good at squats by now. You can, if you want, you can push the face. But I want to tell you now, this is going to be a pretty heavy cardiovascular workout. So you might want to control your pace. Okay. Make sure to breathe as always. Inhale, exhale. Again, Natalie's getting assistance from the, uh, from the evolution, and all that's really doing at this point is, is cradling her, giving her the confidence to sink just a little bit deeper, and really picking up the pace and not sacrificing form if she wants to. In 15 seconds, you're gonna be doing push-ups for a minute. You have 10 seconds left. A little bit deeper, Natalie. Five, four, three, two, one, push-ups. And go. As always, like in our other five weeks of workouts, nice, straight, and neutral spine. Her elbows are pointing straight back as she comes down. Her neck is nice and aligned with her, with her spine. Her hips are not sagging. For you at home, if you're not getting assistance, if you need to drop your knees, feel free to do so. And that looks like this. That's just fine. You have 25 seconds left. Good. 15 seconds left, and we're going to go to squat kickbacks. And those look like this. You have five, four, three, two, one, up, squat kickbacks. Good job. And go. All right, guys. Again, really, really pace yourself. This is going to be a difficult workout, very cardio heavy. So really ease yourself into this workout. And to make it easier on your back, when you're dropping to the ground on these, I want you to squat into it, hands down, jump out, and come back in, okay? Don't just round your back, not good for you, okay? So again, that squat, hands down, jump, jump back in. Perfect. If you're finding it difficult to jump back in with a soft landing, that's okay, you can step back in. And that looks something like this. Jump, step, that's just fine. You have 15 seconds left. And we're going to be doing a modified setup. You guys have five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Great. So again, Natalie's going to be using the evolution. For you at home, if you don't have one, that's fine. Feel free to modify it. You can do power setups. Whatever you'd like, okay? Whatever makes you feel comfortable. Great work. Great work. How you doing, Natalie? Good. How you doing at home? Make sure you breathe. The pace is really going to pick up in the next four sets. The next four rounds, rather. You have 30 seconds left. Twenty seconds left. So unlike our, the, the past five weeks, in between our sets, we're, now, we're no longer going to take breaks. We're going to be planking through our break. You have 10 seconds left. Men burpees. <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. You're going to plank for 45 seconds. 
and go. So with the plank, if you're comfortable, stay here. If you want to challenge yourself, drop down to your elbows, keeping your butt in the air. Sorry, not in the air, but don't let it sag. Nice neutral spine. Okay, so after the plank here, we're going to move into our fight series. And for all of these sets, we're going to be doing both an orthodox and a southpaw stance. But for, for those of you at home who are not familiar, all that really means is you're going to have one, uh, one set where your left leg is leading or in front, and you're going to repeat the set with your right leg in front, okay? And that's going to be southpaw, left leg, orthodox, right leg, southpaw, okay? And you're up. All right, all right. Are you ready? Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate and then you're gonna follow me, okay? Front, back, side, side. Front, back, side, side, okay? For 30 seconds, let's go. And again, you're starting in an orthodox stance, meaning that your left leg is leading, okay guys? Front, back, side, side. You have 15 seconds left. Great. The reason we're making this movement easy is just so you're used to the motions, okay? So you're getting used to the movement. Okay? And switch sides. So I'll let you know now, as you move into the punches and kicks, I want you to make all of your movements very deliberate, okay? Don't just make the motion for the purpose of moving, okay? Engage your core, transfer that power, twist. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Again, you're gonna watch me, okay? Front, level change. Back, side, level change, side. Okay? So that's front, level change, back, side, level change, side. There's a lot of movements, okay? If you get lost, that's okay. Just regather your thoughts and get right back into it, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Switch. When you're doing your level change, okay? I want you to squat into it as if you were doing a squat, okay? You have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. And I'm going to demonstrate. Front, jab, back, level change. Front, jab, back, level change. And go. Good. So the jab is a really quick and effective punch, okay? You might not get as much power, but that's not its intention. It's just a quick jab, get some distance, okay? Front, jab, back, level change. Front, jab, back, level change. You got eight seconds left. Good job, this is, sorry, switch. Like Natalie said, this is kind of an unorthodox style of cardio. But like, also, like you said, it's going to be very, very effective. How do you feel right now? Ooh. Oh, man. Lots of coordination. You're doing great, though. Almost done set number two. You guys at home trying to keep up? You're doing great. Breathe. All right. Three, two, one. All right. All right. Okay. Same thing. Orthodox stance. Jab, cross, hook, level change. Jab, cross, hook, level change. Okay? So you're familiar, now you're familiar with the jab. Your cross, that's gonna come from your dominant hand, your power hand, okay? This is where you get to twist and put your body weight into that punch, okay? Front, cross, hook, level change. And the hook, kinda like the jab, is 
nice and quick. Okay? Alright? Looking great, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch. You're doing great. Let's go. Okay? Especially for these movements. I really don't mind if you slow down the pace and again, make your movements deliberate, okay? Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Okay? Very, very different. Five, four, three, two, one. Let me demonstrate. All right, with your back hand, with your back hand, uppercut, hook, level change. Uppercut, hook, level change. Perfect. Again, your hook is coming from your dominant hand, okay? So get some power into there. Uppercut, hook, level change. Perfect. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Whew, how you feeling? If you feel like you need to take a break, as always, do so, okay? Cast your breath, maybe take a sip of water, and you're good to go. You have 10 seconds left, and you're gonna go back to your plank for 45 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. You guys are doing good. I'm just strapping Natalie up here with some bands because in the next set, we're going to introduce some kicks, okay? Hips up a little bit, Natalie. 30 seconds left. Now, you might find that you're not getting a chance to breathe. That's okay. Maybe get some quick, short breaths in with every movement, okay? Okay? Great, you have 10 seconds left. All right, and you're up, you're up. All right, for set number three, we're gonna start to introduce some kicks, okay? So again, I'm gonna demonstrate. Left leg front, orthodox. Jab, level change, uppercut, sprawl. Jab, level change, uppercut, sprawl. Okay? And go. Okay? The sprawl is a super effective move for evasion, okay? Great for evasion. If somebody's coming in to grab you, you get low. Great. You know, 10 seconds left. And one and switch. Good job, guys. Okay, at this point, you might struggle to catch your breath. That's okay. Control it. Just whatever you do, don't hold your breath. You have 10 seconds left. Now I'm going to demonstrate again. All right, three. Two, one, hook, cross, hook, level change. Hook, cross, hook, level change. Great work. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna say it over and over, okay? I prefer for you to make it slow and deliberate, okay? Hook, cross, hook, level change. You have 15 seconds left. How are your arms? Tired. How are your arms at home? I think you're doing great. We're almost halfway through. You got five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Great, just the opposite. Right leg front. Good. Very good, very good. All right, you have 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one. I'm gonna slow the demonstrations down for you guys, okay? Rear elbow, front elbow, knee. Go ahead. Rear elbow, front elbow, knee, scroll. Rear elbow, front elbow, knee. Good. Only 10 seconds left. Good job. And switch. Great work, guys. I know Natalie can go faster than this, but I don't want her to. She's doing great. All of her moves, she's engaging her core, really twisting into every elbow, twisting into every punch. Good job. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're gonna get a lot of movements here, okay? Jab, cross, hook, front kick, sprawl. Jab, cross, hook, front kick, sprawl. Good. Good job. Really breathe, guys. Get your knee nice and high, snap. Knee and high, snap for your kicks, okay? Five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Jab, cross, hook, front kick, scroll. Woo. Good job, guys. How you doing? Good job. Only 15 seconds left. Good. Kicks are a real good way to distance yourself from your opponents. You have five, four, three, two, one. Ready? Hook, elbow, hook, knee, level change. Hook, elbow, hook, knee, Level change. Let's go. Hook, elbow, hook, knee, level change. There you go. Hook, elbow, hook, knee, level change. Perfect. You have 15 seconds. Meaning you have 15 seconds left. Great work, guys. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, and switch sides. Hook, elbow, hook, knee, perfect. And then we're gonna move into our plank. And then shortly after that, set number four. We're almost done. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Drop the plank. Good job. These sequences are a bit long. They might be a little bit tough to remember, but you keep on doing it and you will remember. Breathe. Engage your core. Make those breaths deliberate. You only have 25 seconds left and we're moving straight into set number four. Set number four, yes, it gets even more complex. More movements. We're going to be doing five or sometimes six move combos. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. All right, all right. Ready? Yeah. Jab, cross, hook, front kick, sprawl. You get that? Jab, cross, hook, front kick, sprawl. Perfect. Good job. Take your time. Once you're comfortable, pick up the pace. 
but get every movement in and mean every movement, okay? You have 15 seconds left. You're doing great. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, switch sides. Oh, you're doing great. Okay. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Get to a nice low stance. It'll keep you nice and balanced. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ready? Yeah. Uppercut, hook, cross, hook, level change. Uppercut, hook, cross, hook, level change. Good job. Good job. Uppercut, hook, cross, hook. There you go, perfect. These are complicated sequences, okay? That's all right. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and switch. Uppercut, hook, cross, hook. Perfect. Perfect. You guys are doing great. We're almost done. About 15 seconds left. 15 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Cross, hook, elbow, elbow, sprawl, knee. Okay? You get that? Cross, Cross hook, elbow, elbow, sprawl, knee. Perfect. Woo Good job, guys. Come on. We're almost done. This is the most complicated sequence. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and switch. Other side. Good job. You're doing good. You're doing good. Cross, uh, cross hook, elbow, elbow, sprawl, knee. Perfect. One more, one more. Hook, kick, elbow, knee. Good job. Hook, kick, elbow, knee. Hook, kick, elbow, knee. Only 10 seconds left. Good job. Five, four, three, two, one, switch sides. Hook, kick, elbow, knee. Good job. We're almost done, guys. We've only got 15 seconds left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Hook, cross, hook, sprawl, knee. Hook, cross, hook, sprawl, knee. Good job. Hook, cross, hook, sprawl, knee. Good job, we're almost done, guys. This is our last fight sequence. Couple more, couple more, couple more. Five, four, three, two, one. Sprawl, knee, switch sides. Good job. It's okay. If you mess up a few times, that's not a big deal. Let me tell you, we messed up a few times as well. 
These are complicated sequences, but their combination super, super effective. Great core workout, great arm workout, great leg workout. You have five seconds left, and you're gonna stay down for plank. And one more. Okay, you're good. 45 second plank. Good work, guys. Good work. 45 seconds. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. We're going to be on the floor. Grab a yoga mat if you need. While Natalie's planking, I'm going to show you the first move, okay? It's called a hip tuck. Looks like a partial glute bridge, one-legged glute bridge with a tuck of your hip, okay? Up, to the side, tuck your hip. Up, side, tuck. Good. And go. Great work, great work. Natalie's, Natalie's gonna lay down her yoga mats. All right. You guys are getting an extra long break here. That's our fault. You deserve it. All right, hip tuck, one minute. Go, good. Let me see here. Looks like a one-legged loop bridge, and then she's twisting and tucking that hip. Really engage your core, your obliques. A minute of these. We're almost done. That's it, that was a tough workout. Tough, tough workout. You have 30 seconds left. And then we're gonna move into triangles. Okay, so watch me first. Legs nice and high. Cross. Nice and high. Cross. Nice and high. Cross. You're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. Triangles. Okay, try not to cheat. Hands on your chest. Nice and high. Cross. Nice and high, cross. Behind the knee. Nice and high. Perfect. Really control the decline. You don't just crash to the mat. We're almost done. We're almost done. Only 30 seconds left, and we're going to move into bicycles. That's okay. If you can't get super high, that's all right. Go as high as you can. But really control that decline, okay? Don't just crash. You have 15 seconds left. Perfect. 10 seconds and you're gonna move into bicycles. We've seen these before. And bicycles. Alright, now he's gonna add some resistance. One minute, guys. One minute. And go. Perfect. Even though you're still working out, this is almost like a cool down phase. Breathe. Use this opportunity to catch your breath. That was a hard workout, a complicated workout. Both a physical workout and a mental workout. Okay, slow down your breathing if you can. Control it, okay? 30 seconds left. You have 20 seconds left, and you're gonna go into a wrist grab, which looks like this. You're gonna get nice and high, grab the opposing wrist. Nice and high, grab the opposing wrist. Perfect. And in ton, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Wrist grab, go. You're almost done, alternating. Good.
You can do knees up or legs down, up to you. All right. Perfect. We have 45 seconds left, and they're going to move into a minute of mountain climbers, and we're done. We're 20 seconds, only 40 seconds left. Thirty seconds left. How are you feeling? Not very well. No. Not very well. Twenty seconds left. Breathe. Breathe. Fifteen. Come on, Natalie. Ten. Come on, guys at home. This is it. Five, four, three, two, one. A minute of mountain climbers. Let's go. Let's finish it off. All right. This is it. Take that for you. And set up. And go. Great work, guys. This is it. Not your traditional cardio workout. But like Natalie said, very, very effective. Very effective. A lot of core engagement, a lot of level changes. Very, very functional. You have 35 seconds left. Come on, go, come on, get up. You got this, 30 seconds left. You guys are doing good, 20 seconds, come on. This is where you get to push yourself a little bit. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. See, Natalie picking up the pace. What about you at home? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And that's it, guys. Awesome work. That's workout number six cardiovascular fight circuit. We'll see you guys next week. See you later.